Good morning, everybody. This is really a great audience. I'm really excited to be here. Uh, thank you for giving me the chance. Now, this week, Monday morning, probably many of us woke up with news popping out of the radio, headlining that the leading climate experts from all over the world were raising their hands and showing their fears on how we lag behind in taking actions to prevent global warming and all the bad things that come along with it. Now, so this is great timing for me now to talk to you about our business case, how we use the Internet of Things to help stop climate change. Now, who are we? We as Kaiserwetter are Germany-based company headquartered in Hamburg, and we've built analytic hubs all over the world, or actually started to building them up, to be closer to our clients and closer to our markets. Originally, we're coming from the renewables energy space, and with a quite, quite good track record on solar farms and wind farms, uh, as you can see on several winning awards that we proudly received on the bottom line of the slide. However, we started to transform our complete business model to becoming a fully digitalized company and providing a data-as-a-service solution. And for that solution, we this year proudly received the SAP Innovation Award, which was handed over to our CEO, Hanno Schorklitsch, this year in Orlando on the SAP conference. So, what is driving us? Now, renewable energy and trying to bring our share into how we can stop climate change is kind of the DNA of Kaiserwetter. We strongly believe that only a shift from the classical energy sector to the renewable energy sector can really bring a change and can really help us stop global warming. And this thought is also, of course, underlined by many international studies from experts all over the world. So the question now is, how do we make this shift happening? So obviously, now looking at the numbers behind it, you can see that for the upcoming years, there's a huge amount of money needed to be placed on the energy space in order to invest into the renewable energy sector. So basically, build up wind power, build up solar power, hydropower, biomass, etc. So obviously, investors all over the world are some of them already heavily invested into this asset class, and others are maybe at the starting line and trying to understand what's the potential of this asset class, yeah? and maybe shifting their portfolios a little bit more into that new asset class of renewables energies. So this is where we as Kaiserwetter come into play. We have built a platform called Aristoteles, which should provide the investor the answers to the three main questions every investor, regardless of the asset type, basically has, which is, how do I minimize the risk of my investment? How can I make sure that I maximize my returns, and at the end of the day, how can I get the most possible transparency into the performance of my, the asset I'm investing in? So how does this work? So when you think of an investor, how does it look like? So they have a portfolio, maybe a wind farm up in the northern part of Europe, somewhere in Denmark maybe, onshore or even offshore. They may be also heavily invested into solar parks in the south, in Spain, or in Africa. And maybe they also have a hydro park somewhere around in the Alps. So, now how does our model kick in? So what we're doing is, we're retrieving the data directly from the parks with a machine-to-machine -machine connectivity. Now, it is important for us that we're not able to install any kind of device in the park. We are not able to fly around the world or fly around from one spot to the other 
and implement some kind of devices uh, on an offshore wind farm, for instance. So we have to have a direct connectivity to retrieve power information data, so how much power has a farm been created, plus lots of tons of really machine information, like um, temperature information uh, from, from the windmill, or uh, blade angle information, etc., etc. So it's a real-time information that we're taking. We're then also adding third-party data. So right now we are having added uh, weather forecast information, which is really crucial from a strategic perspective. So we're showing our investors, what is your farm going to produce the next day, the next three days, and the next seven days? This is, for one, they have to give this information to the electricity grid, so that the grid knows what to expect from the, from the energy farms. And on the other hand, of course, it's a strategic question. So maybe if I know that the wind speeds are going to be perfect in the next seven months, uh, next seven days, sorry, I might not want to do any maintenance work in that time. So it becomes an important information. And uh, we are working here with third-party companies, um, and uh, you have to imagine we have a precise precision of 95% accuracy of the next day's performance of a wind farm. And this is pretty good. And then we also include, we talk about investors, we talk about money, we talk about capital. This is why we include financial data. So we're including information from the owner's financial systems, ERP systems, etc. And all of that good information is placed on the SAP cloud platform, which is running on Cloud Foundry. So we're using there the Internet of Things enablement platform, and in our architecture, we're enhancing that with a SAP HANA base, where we do all kinds of smart analytics, do predictive modeling and simulations there to calculate uh, really interesting KPIs. And at the end of the day, the user access his data through a web interface, which we call our Aristoteles platform. So Aristoteles as such is an executive dashboard where we combine technical data and financial data into specific KPIs to be able to answer the before seen three major questions. And this is something very unique what we're doing here. And it is in real time, and this is also very important. Now, from a technical perspective, we've chosen SAP as our technology partner to create this whole architecture. And um, we're proud to say that we have a global partnership with SAP on going our journey. And with SAP, uh, of course, um, we landed on Cloud Foundry. And uh, we learned to, to love the Cloud Foundry and uh, all the great things happening in there. So also the decision going into the cloud as such was um, not only that we wanted to leverage, for instance, the scalability of cloud, but we also wanted to make sure that looking forward, we also can bring our stack uh, as a business case to how cloud can really, really work well. Now for us, it is important that we have uh, one clear model that we build on our ar architecture, but we need to spread this around the globe. And now, giving all the data security issues and the boundaries that we see from Asia and America and Europe, it's clear that we need to think about a multi-cloud solution. And also, in some instances, more or less private cloud solutions. So this is why all this deployment uh, through Cloud Foundry is really, really helping us. And last but not least, it's the community that we're really leveraging. So we need to think ahead and think of what's, what's next. We're talking about machine learning topics. We're talking about artificial intelligence. Obviously, of course, in the energy sector, blockchain is going to be a, a topic that's coming up. So there's many more to come on our roadmap on how we further build Aristoteles. And of course, also lots of more third-party data that we want to bring in. So at the end of the day, what we're trying to achieve as Kaiserwetter is to build an umbrella for investors on their portfolios, but also for countries. We've talked about this with the emerging banks for Africa, America, and Asia. We talked with the World Bank about this topic, to have a tool set on information to make 
visible, what it needs to take to invest more into the renewable energy space. And this is um, not only for the production side, but also for the grid, for the storage, and the demand side. So our aim is to become the leading, as we call it, multi-tech company, as we're combining pieces from the Enatech space and the FinTech space. So I'm calling up you as a Cloud Foundry crowd. Let's together go on and make this world a brighter tomorrow. Thank you. <laughs>